Hi, Ben from Murrow. In our previous Teltonica video, we've shown you how to link your RAT956 router to the RMS platform. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up an internet failover using link priority. I'm going to connect my internet cable to the WAN port and then we'll install an LTE SIM card for failover. Let's get started. You will notice that there are SIM card adapters inside of the box for nano and micro SIM cards. Just make sure that you use the correct SIM adapter for your SIM card. Okay, I've connected the antennas for LTE connectivity, I've installed the LTE SIM card, and I've connected the internet cable to the WAN port. This device should still be connected to the RMS platform. So let's log in. Let's type in our username and password. And we should receive a one-time pin via email. Let's paste our code and submit. Okay, we can see that our router has internet connectivity and it's connected to the RMS platform. Let's head over to the web UI and connect to it remotely. Let's enter our username and password. Okay, we are logged into the router remotely. Let's head over to network and WAN. Like we discussed in the previous video, we have WAN and then we have WAN 6, which is for IPv6 networks. Then we have mobile and mo a secondary mobile connection. So as we can see that the status is up on the LTE and the status is up on the WAN. The only thing that we have to do here is move the link to your required priority. We're not going to use IPv6 networks, so let's move our mobile LTE connection just below the WAN connection. Then let's click on save and apply. So what we would like to do now is we want to connect to this router via Wi-Fi then run a constant ping test to Google to see what would happen if we unplug the WAN cable and does it fail over to LTE. Once it's failed over to LTE and we plug the cable back, does the link automatically fail over back to the primary link? Let's see. Okay, we have our Wi-Fi antennas connected. Let's scan for Wi-Fi. So over here we can see the RUT956 SSID and I'm connected to it. Let's quickly confirm that we have an internet connection. So let's do ping to google.co.za and we can see that I do have an internet connection. While this ping test is running, let's quickly confirm what our public IP is. Let's have a look at whatsmyip.org and here we will see the public IP address of our network. And now let's go back to the terminal. The ping is still running. So let's unplug the internet cable. Okay, we got two timeouts at that moment and also our milliseconds are a little bit higher. Let's go back to the browser and let's refresh our page to see if we received a new IP address. There we go. Now we received a 105 IP address, which is on the LTE connection. And now if we go back to the terminal and we plug our internet cable back. We should see another drop and then low latency again. There we go. Our latency is a little bit lower now. And if we go back to our public IP address, let's refresh this page. We are back to 41 IP address. Now, if you would prefer to use the LTE as primary and a different connection like a WAN connection as secondary, all you have to do is change the priority of the link. Let's go back to our WAN settings. Now, let's move our mobile connection straight to the top and click on save and apply. Now, the LTE will be the primary connection and the WAN will be a secondary connection. Let's have a look what our ping test does. Here we can see that we do have a little bit higher latency. So let's go back to our browser and let's refresh this page. Now we'll see that it's 105 IP. 
which means that I can unplug the WAN. It's not going to make a difference in this case. But if we disconnect the LTE, then it would fail over to WAN. We can do that as well. Let's grab our pin and let's have a look what our ping test does. There we have our ping test open and I'm going to unplug the LTE SIM card. And here we have a little lower latency. We can see that we had three timeouts and then the link failed over. So let's go back to our browser. Let's refresh our page and we should see the WAN connection. Let's plug our LTE back to make sure that the link automatically fails back to the primary LTE. Okay, SIM card is installed. And let's see what our ping test does. Okay, there we go. The link went straight back to the primary. And again, let's confirm that by looking at our public IP. And that's it. As you can see, setting up an internet failover on a Teltonica router is extremely easy. All you need to do is choose the priority of your link and move them around. You can do this through the RMS platform or simply by logging in to the web UI locally. If you require any additional assistance, please send us an email to support at miro.co.za or give us a call on 012-657-0960 and we'll see you in the next one.